They said it couldn't be done. They said no machine could ever generate power from nothing. But NASA scientists have now confirmed something that seems to defy every known law of physics. A self-powered engine, created by African inventor Maxwell Chikambutso, appears to operate without any external fuel or conventional energy input. And that single discovery could change the entire course of human civilization. For decades, scientists have chased the dream of infinite clean energy, a system that powers itself indefinitely. From perpetual motion machines to cold fusion reactors, the quest for self-sustaining energy has always ended in disappointment. But then came Maxwell, a man from Zimbabwe with no formal engineering degree who has stunned the world with machines that seem to run on their own. And this time, even NASA couldn't ignore what they were seeing. Reports began surfacing from confidential testing facilities where NASA engineers supposedly examined one of Maxwell's self-powered prototypes. They called it the MCD, Maxwell's self-energizing device. A compact engine that, according to leaked data, produced continuous torque without any measurable fuel consumption. In controlled conditions, it reportedly powered a small vehicle for over 48 hours straight, with no plug-in, no charging, and no emissions. The team that witnessed it was left speechless. Energy was being generated, but no source could be identified. Thermodynamics, the backbone of modern physics, dictates that you can't get more energy out than you put in. Yet this machine appeared to do exactly that. Some scientists began calling it the energy anomaly. Others dismissed it immediately, saying the data must have been misinterpreted or tampered with. But inside NASA's propulsion labs, curiosity took over skepticism. If true, this could rewrite the laws of energy conservation. What if Maxwell had stumbled upon a hidden principle of physics we hadn't yet understood? Something that connects electromagnetism and gravitational resonance in ways never before documented? Rumors suggest that Maxwell's engine uses a combination of radio frequency induction and magnetic feedback loops. In simple terms, it amplifies its own electromagnetic field to sustain motion. That would mean it's tapping into ambient energy, the invisible ocean of electromagnetic radiation that surrounds us all the time. The concept isn't entirely new. Nikola Tesla once spoke of drawing energy directly from the ether, a limitless field of universal power. But Maxwell's design allegedly achieves it in a closed system. It's small enough to fit inside a car, powerful enough to drive it indefinitely, and clean enough to emit zero pollution. NASA's own documents, according to leaked sources, describe the device as operating beyond standard model energy parameters. That's a cautious scientific way of saying, we don't know how this thing works. And that's where the story starts to take a strange turn. Because once word got out that NASA had verified Maxwell's engine in a lab test, the agency went completely silent. No press releases. No technical papers. Nothing. It was as if the discovery had been buried overnight. Some say the project was classified immediately. Others claim Maxwell himself was approached by government officials and asked to pause his public demonstrations. Whatever happened, the world suddenly stopped hearing about the self-powered engine. Until whispers began to surface online. Anonymous engineers claiming they'd seen the blueprints. Technicians saying they'd tested smaller versions of the same concept in private labs. And each of them described the same thing a device that shouldn't work, but somehow did. One source even claimed the engine was integrated into a prototype drone that flew continuously for weeks without recharging. NASA, according to this rumor, was studying it for potential use in deep space probes, where traditional fuel is too heavy and solar power too weak. If true, that would make Maxwell's invention one of the greatest breakthroughs in space technology history. Imagine a spacecraft that could travel for decades without refueling. Imagine satellites that never run out of power. Imagine vehicles on Mars powered by a self-sustaining magnetic core. But of course, not everyone believes these reports. Many scientists have publicly stated that such claims violate the most fundamental laws of energy conservation. Dr. Ian Westwood from MIT was quoted saying, If NASA really confirmed this, it would mean everything we know about physics is wrong. And that's exactly why it's so controversial. If it's real, it's revolutionary. 
If it's fake, it's one of the most elaborate hoaxes ever linked to a major scientific institution. Maxwell himself hasn't helped clear the confusion. He continues to say that his engine works by recycling electromagnetic energy from the environment, but refuses to disclose the exact mechanism. He claims he's protecting intellectual property from corporate theft. Critics say that's just a convenient excuse. Supporters, however, point out that every great inventor was ridiculed before being recognized. They remind us that Galileo, Faraday, and even Tesla faced the same disbelief when their ideas defied conventional science. So which side is right? Was NASA's confirmation real, or an internet exaggeration that spiraled out of control? Let's look at what we actually know. NASA's public database does not list any official report on Maxwell's device. There's no paper, no patent collaboration, and no mission briefing mentioning his name. But there are several internal project IDs that remain classified under propulsion research. One of them, codenamed Energy Anomaly Investigation, reportedly began around the same time the rumor started. Coincidence or connection? We may never know. Because the moment journalists began asking questions, NASA's spokespeople gave a familiar answer, no comment. That silence only fueled more speculation. Some believe NASA confirmed the device but had to suppress the results to avoid global economic chaos. After all, a truly self-powered engine would destroy the trillion-dollar fossil fuel and battery industries overnight. Others think the agency simply didn't want to be associated with a claim that could damage its credibility if proven false. And in that uncertainty, myths began to grow. One popular story says the test was conducted at the Glenn Research Center in Ohio. According to this tale, the device ran for three continuous days before engineers decided to shut it down manually. Another story says the prototype overloaded a power monitoring system, creating electromagnetic interference across the entire lab. Some even claim it generated a field strong enough to disrupt nearby instruments, something NASA supposedly hadn't seen before. These accounts can't be verified, of course, but they're consistent enough to keep people wondering. Could it be that Maxwell really cracked the code to free energy? Could it be that his self-powered engine isn't breaking physics, but revealing a new layer of it? What if the laws we think are absolute are only approximations of deeper rules we haven't yet discovered? Every century, science faces a moment like this, when a single discovery challenges everything. Einstein's relativity overturned Newton's world. Quantum mechanics shattered classical physics. And perhaps Maxwell's self-powered engine could be the next revolution. NASA's alleged confirmation, whether true or not, symbolizes that possibility. It suggests that even within the most rigid institutions, curiosity still burns. That even the most established scientists can admit when something doesn't fit the model. But now, the story drifts into rumor territory, the kind of whispers that circulate in tech forums and encrypted chats. Some users claim Maxwell's technology is being secretly tested on lunar rovers for long-term missions. Others say private aerospace firms have already licensed the concept under different names. A few even go as far as to claim that early prototypes are hidden inside experimental vehicles roaming remote African deserts. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. But the pattern is undeniable. Whenever someone tries to demonstrate such devices publicly, strange things happen. Funding disappears. Patents get blocked. And inventors suddenly go silent. Maxwell himself reportedly received multiple offers from unknown investors, all insisting on exclusive rights. He declined them. Shortly after, his company's website went offline for maintenance. Was it just a coincidence? Or was someone trying to control the narrative? We can only speculate, but if NASA really confirmed the engine works, keeping it secret makes sense. An infinite energy source would destabilize global power structures overnight. It could render oil, coal, gas, and even nuclear obsolete. Entire economies would collapse, while others would rise from nowhere. And whoever controls that technology would effectively control the world. That's the kind of power nations go to war over. So maybe the secrecy isn't about disbelief, maybe it's about control. Still, skepticism remains the foundation of science.
Every extraordinary claim requires extraordinary evidence. Until that evidence is made public, Maxwell's engine will sit in the twilight zone between miracle and myth. People who've seen it swear it works. Those who haven't insist it can't. NASA, caught in the middle, remains silent. And in that silence, imagination takes over. Think of the implications if it were real. We could eliminate power grids. Every car, home, and city could run independently, forever. Energy poverty would vanish. Pollution would disappear. Space exploration would become limitless. Human civilization would enter a new golden age. But if it's not real, it's still valuable. Because it pushes us to question what's possible. It forces scientists to explore the boundaries of known physics more deeply. It inspires a new generation of inventors to dream without limits. And that's perhaps the true power of Maxwell's story, not just in the machine itself, but in the hope it represents. A hope that we are closer to unlocking the next great leap in energy. Still, rumors persist that NASA hasn't completely walked away. Supposed insiders claim a small, private division continues to study energy anomaly phenomena, with data believed to be derived from Maxwell's early blueprints. Others mention a program codenamed SPX Omega, allegedly focused on magnetically sustained propulsion experiments. No official record exists, but the timing matches Maxwell's last public appearance. And then, there's the strangest claim of all, that during one of NASA's deep space communication tests, they detected unexplained power surges resembling the same frequency pattern used in Maxwell's RF engines. Coincidence or continuation? Nobody can confirm. The evidence remains circumstantial, yet the mystery endures. People online continue to debate every fragment of leaked data, every blurry photo, every unexplained waveform. Some say it's disinformation to hide a classified project. Others think it's simply a myth that refuses to die. But like all powerful ideas, it doesn't matter whether it's fully true, what matters is that it keeps humanity reaching beyond the impossible. Perhaps that's why NASA hasn't officially denied the rumors. A quiet acknowledgement that maybe, just maybe, we're standing on the edge of a discovery we can't yet explain. And that's what makes this story so magnetic. Because deep down, we all want it to be true. We want to believe that one man from Africa could create a device that defies physics and humbles the mightiest scientific institutions on Earth. We want to believe that the world can still be surprised. That innovation can come from unexpected places. That the impossible can become reality. Whether NASA confirmed it or not, Maxwell's self-powered engine has already achieved something extraordinary, it has ignited global curiosity. It has forced scientists to rethink the limits of what they know. It has given millions of people hope that a clean, boundless energy future might be within reach. And maybe, that's the first step toward making it real. Because every revolution begins as a rumor. Every great discovery starts as an idea someone dared to believe. Maxwell dared. NASA might have seen. And the world is still watching. Maybe it's real. Maybe it's not. But one thing's for sure. If the day ever comes when NASA steps forward and confirms it officially, the world will never be the same again. Until then, the mystery of Maxwell's self-powered engine will live on, suspended between science and legend, between skepticism and faith, between what is known and what might be. And perhaps that's exactly where the future begins.